<laughs> now that pretty cat thinks he's but wadgers. Dorothy Day was a radical, trying to change the world. The planning on putting up a new department store, and anyone who's living there is going to get turned out into the street. We cover politics, Dorothy. The reason we have politics is to rid the world of social injustices. And looking for a love that would last forever. I'm pregnant. We can live as we are. Please don't leave. But the world didn't want to be changed. It's misery, poverty. Where do you start? And her heart didn't know who to turn to. You gotta tell me what you want. What I'm supposed to do. Until the day her eyes were opened. It begins with these people. The ones that nobody else wants. And she discovered her destiny. You must create houses of hospitality. To feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and house the homeless. That's very impressive, Peter, but how do you plan on accomplishing all that? I am not going to. You are. Moira Kelly. I read about you in the New York Times. It made me very proud. They tend to exaggerate. Martin Sheen. There is a great sin in having more than you need and not sharing with those who have less than they need. The extraordinary true story. Do you know there are people who, who think that you're a communist infiltrator? That you've come to destroy the church? of a remarkable woman. If you feed the poor, you're a saint. If you ask why they're poor, you're a communist. Who dare to change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dorothy Day. Entertaining Angels, the Dorothy Day story. The Lord will provide. Why do you think they might think that? They don't make a bit of sense to me. Do you think there's anything wrong with your mind, really? Not a thing, Doc. Uh, excuse me, miss. Do you think it might be possible to turn that music down so maybe a couple of the boys could talk? Your hand is staining my window. God almighty, she's got you guys coming and going. Change never hurt, huh? A little variety. Oh, oh Jesus! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, you're not gonna say that now. You're not gonna say that now. You're gonna pull that hen house shit now when the vote the chief just voted it was ten to nine. Now I want that television set turned on right now! I don't think he's overly psychotic. No, I want something! To... I think he's dangerous. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, you guys do nothing but complain about how you can't stand it in this place here, and then you haven't got the guts just to walk out? I mean, what do you think you are, for Christ's sake, crazy or something? Well, you're not. Hey, wait a minute. Sit. Oh, 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 oh. See how easy it is? We're from the, uh... State Mental Institution, uh, this is Dr. Cheswick, Dr. Tabor, Dr. Scanlon, I'm Dr. McMurphy. Hey, Mikey! What? All right, take him over! Get down over here! Get up, Tabe! <laughs> How about it, you creep, you lunatics, <laughs> mental defective? <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Thank you. I'll never forget you.